Yo, what's up guys and welcome to Who Wants Chowder and Overall Challenge. My name is Mr. Freeze 2244 but before we get into the video, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Also, if you've missed any challenges that I've covered in the Ardoff scale so far, there's a link in the description of the full playlist of videos. But for this one, we're actually going to bring along some poison on ourselves. We're going to bring along some lethal pills. Uh, to get the overall challenge completed. I'm not sure if you have to uh, kill the target, which is Sophia. Alternatively, you can bring along some emetic uh, uh, poison, emetic pills or emetic poison vial, whichever one you have. Um, we're going to bring along that, so either lethal pills will do or the emetic pills. It doesn't matter. Either one will work for this challenge, so whatever you have is, 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 is fine, as long as it's not sedative. So for this one, we're going to need to grab some a lot, of, a lot of poison around the map. We need to actually grab four pieces of rat poison. We need to have four of those. The first one is just going to be in this staff-only room over here. Uh, let's just grab that there. That's one. So we've already got some poison, so that's two. We need five overall. So we have two. So we need three more left. We're going to create a distraction in this room right here and distract the uh, event staff member outside. He's going to come in. I'm going to grab his disguise. I'll make... Uh, make uh, Getting the next poison a lot easier because it's going to be in the kitchen where the chefs are and stuff. So we can grab ourselves a nice little disguise. We're just going to wait for him to turn off the tap first before we go ahead and subdue him. Obviously, going to dump his body in the crate. Then we're going to work our way around up to the stairs, past the guards. If we went just right there, there would be an enforcer. That's why we're coming up this way. If you head all the way up to the top of the stairs and head right, you will enter the kitchen, and just on your left on the trolley is going to be another second uh, set of rat poison. So that's two. Just need two more rat poisons now. So what we're heading to now is basically where the effigy is. Just underneath that is going to be um, a place where you can tamper with the effigy and sabotage it for an opportunity. And in that area is going to be another piece of rat poison. So that will be third on our list. We'll have one more, but before we get our fourth uh, particular rat poison, we're going to need to grab our disguise first. And it will make it a lot more easier to grab the fourth one anyway. And we're going to need that disguise to get up the stairs. And uh, yeah. Also, actually, we're going to need another Wader's Disguise as well. A, a different one, with the one with all the, the feathers on the head. Yeah, we need that one. And, and we're going to need that to poison all the glasses up in the room where we, the meeting's going to take place. But anyway, for now, I'm because I'm, I'm skipping ahead. For now, we grab this uh, third piece of poison here. That's the three rat poisons down. Like I said, now we're going to go ahead and grab a Disguise. So we're just going to head up the ladder just over here. We'll grab this wrench on this table, because why not? Up this ladder. You can take out the evidence up here if you want to. There is uh, just a security de device in here. In fact, we're going to go ahead and do that, because you might as well. So we're just going to jump out the window here. Now we are in a trespassing area, so we're going to stay crouched as we run through this section. We're going to head down this way, and at the end there's going to be a pipe. We're going to climb that. We're going to head all the way onto the roof, and we're going to take out some guards and grab Jebediah's blocks disguise. That basically gives you pretty much free roam of the whole entire castle, I think. I'm not sure if there's an area where you can't go in that disguise. It's one of them very, very be-all, end-all kind of, kind of disguise. A bit like the Elite disguise on this map. That's a very good disguise to have as well. But once you get on the roof, there's going to be like three guards, I think. I'm not counting that one at the end. So we're going to turn on, turn off this generator right here and turn it back on. That's going to grab the attention of this guard in front of us. And we're actually going to use the wrench to knock him out. We're going to not knock everyone out on this roof, actually. Just because. Just because. So that guard in the distance, we're just going to wait for him to turn around before we make our second attempt of knocking another person out. Well, our first attempt of knocking another person out, I should say. So that's Jebediah. 
Second guard. Third guard. We're also on autumn awards, so I'm gonna hide the bodies behind this little uh, little wall here. I did this before in a practice run, and somehow uh, I have no idea how, but uh, one of the bodies got found. I have no clue because no one else comes through this area. But so to make sure that doesn't happen again, I'm gonna hide the bodies over here. And on this run, it doesn't it no no bodies get found or anything. But um, overall, it doesn't matter to all the these challenges. Even if the bodies were found, it doesn't matter at all whatsoever. As, as long as um, you don't get shot at and things like that and ruin the whole strategy, then you're fine. Because this is not an assassination challenge, it's just basically trying to tick off two challenges, which are feats. So now we've got this disguise on, we're going to grab our fourth and final piece of poison, which is going to be right here. Now, from this point, we're going to need to get ourselves another disguise prepared for... And we're going to leave the, yeah, the Jebediah disguise here, so we're going to turn off this fuse box. Close the door first. And we're going to turn it back on. So that guy there, there with the uh, the feathers on his head, we're going to grab his disguise. And that's going to allow us to poison the glasses of uh, champagne upstairs where the meeting has taken place. Now I'm not sure if you're allowed to take the stairs, but we're actually going to do it the safe way and just take the, uh, the pipes and we'll, we'll climb up there. Because it's, uh, I think it's easier. I believe this is the only legal disguise you're allowed to poison the champagne in that room. This disguise isn't um, a trespassing disguise up there. But I believe the other one is. So we're going to leave that jeopardized disguise there for now. And then we're going to climb the rest of the way up to the, the where the meeting has taken place. He's going to need to edge along this wall and then climb up the pipe. And then do some more further edging. So just basically follow where I'm going. So this is the room where everyone's going to be having the glasses of champagne. So you want to be uh, poisoning this particular chair right here. Not jeopardize one because that's not going to work. So basically these people are going to be sitting down. The only way to get them up to poison their glass is basically dropping a piece of poison or dropping something in front of them. That will get them to stand up so we can poison their glass of champagne. So she needs to stand up. So we dropped uh, one of our poisons there. And uh, we're putting a metic in all of these glasses except for this one. This is the one where you want to put your lethal or your emetic poison in there. So if you've brought along emetic poison with you, go ahead and poison that glass with that. But if you've brought your lethal, go ahead and poison it with that. Everything else is going to be emetic, apart from Jebediah's. So all the ones that are poisoned there, it, it, it sounds more... I'm, the more I'm trying to explain it, the more confusing it sounds. So just, just copy what I did in this, this video. <laughs> I'm very bad at explaining today. But once we've done all that stuff, we're going to retrace our steps now and go and grab uh, Jebediah Block's disguise. We're going to talk to Sophia. And they're going to lead us to the meeting. And uh, you want to go ahead and agree with what Sophia is saying. Say yay. Or whatever they call it. Or I. And uh, they will all propose a toast. And once they've uh, proposed the toast and they all raise the glasses and take a drink, they're all going to get poisoned. And uh, the name of the challenge is called Who Wants Chowder? It's actually a reference to a uh, Family Guy episode when they're all uh, being sick in the living room and after they're all been sick all over the place, Lois comes in with some chowder and she goes, who wants chowder? I believe it's the reference to that. It's the only thing I asked I can think of. And when I immediately heard it, it was hilarious. But because we poisoned her lethally, it's kind of spoiled the scene. So I recommend just using emetic poison on all the glasses of, of wine there. Or champagne, I should say. Because it might play out a little bit better and more uh, funnier. If you do it that way. But like I said, now we've grabbed this disguise and spoken to Sophia. We're going to go up to the meeting. And we're going to say I to uh, what she says and accept her. And uh, they will propose a toast. And that's when we're going to get all the poison kills. And who wants child a challenge and the 
uh, the other challenge that was in. Overruled, that's what it is. So, yeah, that's how you do it. I knew we could talk sense. Just vote in favor of my motion, and I promise you, Block, you'll power the world for decades to come. Well, who cares how, as long as you're the one getting paid. Ain't that the truth? Friends and... I excuse me, but it really freaks me out when people stand too close to me. Friends and founders, the recess is over. Let's return to the council room and proceed with the vote. Let's reiterate, for decades, you, the titans of the energy industry, have conspired to obscure the truth about climate change through lobbying, misinformation, and propaganda. This strategy has been incredibly successful, but all good things must come to an end. It is time for you to adapt or die, ladies and gentlemen. This is why our analysts have devised a 10-year transition plan to keep you in power. Play this right, and you will not only thrive, but this time, you will be the good guys. In other words, you have nothing to lose. So, everyone in favor, say aye. 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 Yay or nay, Block. Silence is consent. Aye. Five ayes. The vote is unanimous. The motion is passed. And now? I believe a toast is in order to the future. Signed, sealed, and delivered. To the future. The future. The future. The future. One target down. Nice work, 47. Next up, Zoe. Ocean's Chowder. Oh, no, I don't feel well. What the hell's going on? I feel sick as a dog. You do this. Someone, please. Fucking Help look me. at me when I'm What's talking. Going on here? What What's his problem? Please! Seriously? Come quickly! There's been a whole know this that guy? Hey, you! Hey, you! Hearing impaired! Assured, we'll deal with this troublemaker. Come on, do you read? Final we warning, I'll hold my here. gun on you, freak! Affirmative, come on! What the hell? Kill him! Alright, help me! Damn it! Oh, shoot! Yeah, sure, because that's completely justified, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So that's going to do it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video if it helped you out or if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you are new to the channel and hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. For the full playlist of videos, check out the link in the description. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Hey,